I'm curious, how did you decide on the way to sort of recap the first movie at the beginning? Because there's a little bit of a recap. Did you ever debate not having that? Or were you sort of like, people see a lot of movies, let, let's remind them. Yeah, I think it was um, it was in post. It was in post-production uh, where we wanted to make sure that even if you didn't see the first one, you can understand where you're coming from. And we, we like the idea of, of the old... TV shows, like playing it like a, the odd couple type of a, a thing or the A-team or it sort of, it, it felt like, you know, we're just catching up in case you missed it, you know? So that was how we made that decision. Speaking of post, I'm, I'm fascinated by the editing process because it's where it all comes together. What did you learn from like early test screenings or friends and family screenings that actually impacted the film? Um, we learned... In the first time we put it in front of an audience, um, we learned that people really love the movie. And um, it was amazing to sit in an audience and watch people laugh and enjoy the film. And they, everyone loved Adam and Jen. Um, and, you know, we, we get feedback on things in terms of like pacing or certain jokes that we were testing and they, they worked. Um, we, we watched the audience reaction. So if we, there's a joke and there's no laughter, we, we, we have one of 35 alts that we put in. Um, and that's basically what we, what we did. I think Adam and Jennifer together are, they're very good. Their chemistry is what makes these movies. Um, can you sort of talk about what it's like on set with them? How much is it uh, the script? How much is it them, as you said, coming up with alts for a lot of scenes? Well, a lot of the script is designed for them, written for them, but they're also putting a lot of their, they're both producers, they're both writers, and they put a lot of their own um, voice uh, into the script. So um, by the time we get to set, they've already really processed and worked out a lot of the kinks. So a lot of the improv and the, the ideas that they had were already put into the, into the, the scene. Um, then when we would get to, to, to set, uh, they would be able to play off. You would get what was on the page and then they would add to it and they'd play off and they're so great playing off of each other um, and they're so fun together. But we had a we had a group of people who were on set writing alt and we would have all these alt jokes that we would just try um, and and we got some killers on, in there, which, which, which are in the movie and um, it's fun. I definitely have to ask you, no spoilers, but the how did you decide on the ending? Because it's a little bit of a, I don't, what's the right word? Cliffhanger. Yeah. I mean, we love the idea of doing a cliffhanger. Um, yeah. It was just, that was, uh, was that always like in the script from the very beginning? It was in a version of the script, but it was also actually, now that I think of it, we were actually shooting a different, we were planning on shooting a different scene for the ending. But because of COVID, the the giant like the, the thing that we needed for that scene didn't get there in time. So we had to come up with a different idea. So I, I remember pitching this to Adam, um, this idea, and then we just kind of did a pass of this, this scene, and it was fun. It was a it was a fun way to end, and it definitely makes you you know, makes the audience like wonder what's happening next, you know? Well, the, the first film was incredibly successful for Netflix and clearly I'm sure if this is successful, uh, it wouldn't shock me if they just Netflix decided maybe we want one more. I say let's do 10 more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to definitely ask about the wedding dance and filming that sequence because it's a huge number. There's amazing costumes. And, but the real thing is that I read and could be wrong that you did not show Adam and Jennifer the dance until they got on set. Correct, because I wanted them to feel like the characters in the, in the movie. Um, uh, Mahina and Avishai were the most incredible choreographers. We wanted to make sure that if we were doing a, a wedding and a, a, um, a, 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 an Indian wedding, we had a Bollywood giant Bollywood dance, and we got the greatest team of dancers, choreographers. Uh, it was so fun to do that, um, and. We uh, we had a, a, our composers compose a, an incredible original song that we worked on for a long time, and um, yeah, we just I, I didn't want Adam and, and Jen to know what was going to happen during the dance, and they just were were winging it in their character. They went method. 
<laughs> uh, when, so when people watch, they should be watching their faces. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I definitely want to touch on J.J. Perry, who's your second unit director. And obviously, I'm, I believe he helped with the or did the Eiffel Tower sequence. Can you sort of talk about that sequence? Because it's a big, big stunt for this movie. Huge. So J.J. So JJ, um, uh, JJ did the Eiffel Tower sequence. He did a lot of the fight sequences in there. Spiro uh, did the car ch chase, the van chase sequence. Um, we just had an incredible team of, of, of stunts and second unit directors. JJ JJ's an, not only a, a great second unit director, he's an incredible director. He directed Day Shift for for uh, for Netflix. Did a, did a great job. Such an incredible energy, spirit, so fun to be around, and really um, protected everybody, made sure everyone was safe, but we had a, had a really fun time. Uh, of course, I like asking directors, do you already know what you're thinking about uh, for doing next? Right now, I'm writing something uh, for, I started a company called American High, where I bought a high school to make high school films. Um, Wait, what? In upstate New York. <laughs> Wait, start again? What? Um, I... I <laughs> always loved high school movies like the John all the John Hughes movies and, and um, nobody was making them so about five years ago I bought a abandoned high school in upstate New York and started a company called American High and we just make high school movies we did Big Time Adolescence with Pete Davidson we did uh, The Binge with Vince Vaughn Plan B with Ku Verma who's who's in here um, and yeah so I'm working on another uh, another uh, high school movie that we're going to shoot um, in in April I have to go, but I just can't believe you own a high school. I do. What is it called American High? That's crazy. I'm gonna come visit. Um, listen, congrats. Hope it's a huge hit for you. I gotta go.